Have you ever driven down Union Turnpike and came across this freight train bridge near a stop and shop? Well, it was only 10 years ago when the Long Island Railroad actually used to run trains through here as part of a branch line that ran to Long Island City. This is the Lower Montauk Branch. So I'll start off with a bit of history. The branch first opened as the main line of the South Side Railroad of Long Island in 1867, starting from Long Island City. The company went through many name changes, from the Southern Railroad of Long Island, to the Southern Division when it was leased by the Long Island Railroad, then to the Brooklyn and Montauk Railroad, and finally to the Montauk Division, or the Montauk Branch. The name, the Lower Montauk Branch, refers to the westernmost portion of the Montauk Branch that runs between Jamaica and Long Island City. The branch had nine stations en route, four of which were closed by 1940. The remaining five stations would stay open for a few more decades. However, most of them were just merely pavement stations on the ground. Due to low ridership and the fact that the new C3 bi-level cars could only use raised platforms and couldn't facilitate the stations, with the exception of Richmond Hill, the five remaining stations were closed in 1998. The Long Island Railroad continued to use the branch for passenger service by running non-stop trains from Jamaica to Long Island City. If you've actually been on the Lower Mountain Branch post-1998, you could actually spot the locations of the old abandoned stations as the train passed by them. The service pattern on the non-stop branch was scarce. Only two trains ran each day, a westbound in the morning and an eastbound in the evening. Then, in 2012, the last two trains to run on the Lower Montauk Branch were rerouted to Hunters Point Avenue, effectively ending passenger service on the branch. Shortly after, the line was handed over to the New York and Atlantic Railway for freight operations. So today, I'm going to show you how to walk along the entire branch and the locations of the five abandoned stations that closed in 1998. Let's get started. So I'm starting my journey at Jamaica, a station that serves most of the Long Island Railroad branches going to or from Long Island. One of those was the Lower Montauk branch. If you're on the Atlantic branch heading towards Atlantic Avenue, look right after you pull out of Jamaica Station, and you can see where the tracks of the branch elevate to head to Richmond Hill Station. Now out of all of the abandoned stations on this branch, Richmond Hill was the only one to actually have a proper elevated platform. The rest, like I said before, were just pavements marked as stations. A good way to see the elevated station is to hop on the Manhattan-bound J train between 121st Street and 111th Street, and if you look to your right, you can see the single island platform in all of its glory. Now after this, the branch continues to be elevated until it cuts through Forest Park for the next three quarters of a mile. There are actually some roads where you can peer down to get a good look at the tracks themselves. The road you are seeing right now that crosses over the tracks is Forest Park Drive, a great place to take a relaxing walk through Forest Park. Anyways, once the branch comes out of Forest Park, it crosses the Union Turnpike next to a playground as it curves behind a stop and shop. It then intersects with another branch of the Long Island Railroad, the Rockaway Beach Branch. This branch closed in 1962. If you remember the video I did on that branch, then you would know that the two branches had a one-track connection southwest of the intersection. Walk over this footbridge where you can get a good look at the Lower Montauk Branch, and you eventually come across tracks that are buried into the ground that once belonged to the connection track. I'm continuing on until I get to 88th Street, where the branch has its first street crossing. Now, crossings along this branch are important because they can sometimes indicate the location of the flat pavement stations. That's the case for the street crossing at 73rd Street, where the platform would have been in this open area and there would have been a sign marking that a train station was here. The tracks then run south of a cemetery, and in Middle Village, the Lower Montauk comes across yet another former Long Island Railroad branch, the Bay Ridge Branch. This branch ceased passenger service in 1924, and just like the Lower Montauk branch, the Bay Ridge branch became a freight line. Actually, that will be the next branch I will be exploring for my next video, so stay tuned. Other than the Bay Ridge branch, the Lower Montauk crosses under another set of tracks which belong to the M train. And, if you're ever on an M train heading into Metropolitan Avenue Station, you can look back to see both former Long Island Railroad branches now being used by freight trains. Speaking of Metropolitan Avenue, if you go to where it crosses over the Lower Montauk, that is the point where the next station would have been Fresh Pond. Again, there are absolutely no remains at all of the platforms, but there are some other remnants that tell you that there was a station at this location. Now after walking a bit more, the branch runs under a building where the Bushwick branch would have curved off. As you can guess by the trend that's going on in this video, the branch was formerly owned by the Lowland Railroad. Its passenger service, 
like the Bay Ridge Branch, ended in 1924, and the freight- Okay, I think you get it by now. After this, walk along Rush Street until you get to Maspeth Avenue, where there is a crossing, again indicating our next station, Haberman. But as always with most of these stations, there is little to nothing left. Then, it's a short walk until you arrive at the final abandoned station. After the tracks run under the Kosciuszko Bridge, you get to Penny Bridge Station next to Lower Hill Boulevard. The station, as the name implies, served Penny Bridge, which connected Lower Hill Boulevard and Meeker Avenue just across the river. Actually, the direction I am looking in right now is towards the exact spot over the bridge was located. There is still a bit more to go after Penny Bridge Station, so I am continuing on. The branch runs south of yet another cemetery, and then we get to a point where it seemingly splits in two. The tracks that curve right were known as the Montauk Cutoff. Its main purpose was to allow Lower Montauk Branch trains to be diverted to the Sunnyside Train Yard. Hang on, Sunnyside Train Yard? That sounds familiar. Yes, because in my Lauren Rail introduction video, I mentioned that the main line runs through the yard, which means that you can look out the window from a Penn Station bound train just before it heads into the tunnel portals and see the Montauk cutoff as it curves away. And finally, the Lower Montauk Branch ends here at Long Island City Station, which is of course still in use today. Aside from being the easternmost Lawn Rail station in Queens, it also has very low passenger numbers, with just over 100 passengers using the station between 2012 and 2014. And so that concludes my video on the Lower Montauk branch. I still have more abandoned Lawn Railroad branches to cover, some of which I have already mentioned in this video. So, if you want to see them, consider subscribing to this channel and liking the video. I'll see you next time.